Hammer here, registered physiotherapist. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a really common uh, shoulder condition. Uh, it's referred to as bicep tendonitis. Uh, so essentially what bicep tendonitis is, it's uh, tendonitis of your bicep uh, or inflammation of your bicep tendon. So essentially your bicep is the muscle right on the front of the, uh, uh, the arm here. And the tendon, so tendons again, they connect muscle to bone, basically attaches right on the front portion uh, of your humerus right here. And essentially with the bicep, what it's responsible for is two main activities, right? So you can think of this as sort of uh, elbow flexion and shoulder flexion, so raising up the arms. So those two activities. So in a lot of cases, uh, when I see somebody who's got bicep tendonitis, uh, in a lot of cases it'll be from some sort of repetitive strain of some type, so perhaps some kind of overhead uh, movement or maybe they might be in the gym uh, doing some bicep curls or some preacher curls and, and their form might be off. I find in a lot of cases with these particular individuals um, posture has a, has a big, big influence, so in a lot of cases these sort of compressive type of movements uh, have provoked symptoms. So again, prolonged uh, lifting, overhead, uh, reaching type of movements, and it'll be very localized typically uh, when people describe their pain. So essentially right in the front here, and it, as I mentioned, in a lot of cases it'll, is it'll, be, it'll be provoked with these actions and provoked with activities that compress the shoulder forward. So several different treatment options for bicep tendonitis. Um, uh, different sort of stretches. A lot of it revolves around initially opening up, right, the shoulder space. Uh, so a lot of postural work can be done for this. There's different uh, passive modalities that have sometimes been indicated for this. So therapeutic ultrasound, uh, acupuncture points, and again, those would be used more so from an acute standpoint. Uh, and then again, once the discomfort, the pain has settled down, and also the mobility and, and the, uh, the stretching have, have been done for that particular area, then we actually want to strengthen the surrounding rotator cuff structures that help to support the bicep tendon, uh, and, then, and then essentially make the exercises more functional to return the patient to whatever uh, activity might have provoked their symptoms, right? Whether that's something in the gym, whether that's a particular lifting activity, whether that's a sport of, of, of some type. So, Again, when we're dealing with these um, uh, sort of injuries, we want to make sure to tailor the program specific to whatever the patient wants to get back into. Please make sure that, uh, again, this is appropriate for you by consulting with either a family doctor or a physical therapist. And thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.